Hey guys, this is Kelly Six Stories, and I will show you this article by BuzzFeed. Here is a transgender person that lived in the Detroit area, and they were standing across the street from Palmer Park, which is the main road that leads you to downtown Detroit, but it also passes through Highland Park. Now, as you see, it says that the Palmer Park area in Detroit has had the most violence and homicides against trans women. And you see the person who wrote the article is Dominic Holden. And right here it says, it says I know of seven girls who have been murdered out here, said like Kyra Dawson. Out as a transgender woman for seven years, Dawson was standing across from Detroit's Palmer Park on Woodward Avenue. The area is known as an enclave for LGBT people. Now, LGBT is, stands for Lesbian, Gay, Bisexual, and Transgender People. Okay. Now, during the daytime, but at night, the park's 300 acres of fields and forests are the city's epicenter of violence against transgender women. A problem worsening at the same time awareness about transgender people has been growing, which is good. Is that people are kind of ruthless now more than ever, you know, said Dawson. The killers, the murderers, the violence is getting more wild and more crazy. I feel like we are being targeted. Now it says, in a three-month span, three black trans or gendered non-conforming people were killed in Detroit this year, two near Palmer Park during one week in the summer of 2014, three transgender women were shot, one fatally near the park. Those incidents don't include countless other stories relayed to BuzzFeed News by police and trans women about robberies, knifings, sucker punchings, more homicides, dismemberment. Now, dismemberment. Now, that is something that I find to be very crazy. Like, you would definitely, you have to be insane in order for you to do something like that to a person that's just like if jason was to come around with a chainsaw and basically cut off your arms or cut off your leg for nothing so that you know dismemberment it's a charred body so somebody hate these people so much that they're just not cutting off their limbs they're actually also putting these people on fire to the point that they are charred. I mean, like charcoal. Can you imagine charcoal? Something that's pitch black, okay? Charred bodies. It says trans women being shoved out of moving cars and other acts of violence against trans women nearby in recent years, okay? It says, I've seen people get shot jumped on, robbed, everything, said Beyonce Carter. I guess it's some sort of like alias. Anyway, it says she has a name like the singer while checking over her shoulder every few seconds to keep her eye on a man standing on the corner. I don't want to be out here. Hell no. But some days I just say, fuck it. I need some money. For Carter, Dawson, and other trans women, BuzzFeed News interviewed in Detroit facing this environment isn't a choice. I want to be a girl, so if that's the risk you take, I'm taking it. I'm sorry, Carter said. It's about who I am, and I love me. I do what I got to do to survive. So I'm assuming that the transgender woman that they're referring to having sex as a prostitute in order to make a living for themselves okay um here we have it says woodward avenue begins at the detroit river forming the city central uh aortia through downtown the six lanes go northwest past glass towers then chick bars and salons 
then strip malls and auto shops and empty ind industrial buildings and eventually reaching the honking beige deja vu strip club near the southern tip of the park at the intersection of six mile road six mile and woodward the front desk man at the holiday inn express said that's where all the trans women are just past the intersection directly across the street from palmer park north brown drivers slow down to access the stroll as it is called a strip of johns to find a date the women sometimes linger or they strut south past the fontaine motel they check themselves out in what they call the mirrors dark reflective windows of a real estate office on on the corner of worcester place and head south past a coin laundry the bread basket and a 24-hour video store and a sports bar until they reach a gas station from where she stood on woodward avenue on a frigid thursday night dawson pointed out where 20 year old amber monroe was shot dead after she got out of a car on august 8th dawson was around the corner from the side street where a person who simply went by the name melvin who numerous people said was a gay man who worked as a transgender woman was found fatally shot on october 5th dawson said she was pistol whipped and robbed one night last night last year by a man behind a restaurant up the street and down the block a 53 year old transgender woman's body was found two years ago stuffed into a trash container in the in the back alley the woman's corpse so badly burned that police could not identify her remains a medical examiner identified her weeks later by the male name calvin curtis lips lipscomb <laughs>